Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements as well as Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. We have a short video here of a little boy driving by on a go-kart. There he goes. What I'd like to do is about halfway through, I'd like to freeze the video, like right about there. And while it's frozen, I'd like an arrow to fly in and just point to the boy for a second, then disappear, and then the video to continue. It's a fairly simple process. In advance of creating this effect, I have created an arrow. It's a ping, which means it has a transparent background. It looks black here, but that is transparent around that arrow. I show you how to do that in a separate tutorial. I created that in Photoshop. It's just a red arrow. And you'll notice when I drag it down here to the timeline that you'll see the arrow and then not the shape behind it. So that's real important. So let's go ahead and delete the arrow here and let's choose the point we'd like our freeze frame to begin. Right about here is a good spot. And I can create my freeze frame either by clicking on the little camera icon here in the top left of the timeline, or I can go over to the toolkit on the toolbar on the right and from them select freeze frame. You get exactly the same tool. And here we can save our video as a separate photo, edit it in Photoshop, or we can take that photo and import it into our movie as a five second freeze frame. So let's go ahead and select insert in movie. This will automatically put that still photo into our movie. Let me close the toolbar here. And I'm just gonna zoom back a little by pressing the minus key on my keyboard. And there we go. Here's our video, the boy goes by. And then for five seconds, he's in freeze frame. We can control the length of that freeze frame just by trimming that still area, larger or smaller. There we go. And then I'm going to select my arrow and I'm going to add it right above the freeze frame. There it is. And here's my arrow. Uh, once I have my arrow added, to my timeline right above the freeze frame. I'm going to shrink it down here so it's just roughly the same size as the freeze frame itself. Now let's make it a little shorter so that it ends before the freeze frame ends. And I want to change the direction of that arrow. I can do that simply by clicking on the arrow here in the monitor. And you notice I get these little corner handles and when I, when I hover outside the corner handles, I actually get a rotation. There we go, a rotation option and we'll position the arrow right where I'd like it to appear, pointing at the boy. Now, I could have that arrow just appear during the freeze frame. I'm gonna have it fly in. So to do that, I'm going to position my playhead right where I'd like the arrow to be at its final point. And with the arrow selected on the timeline, I'm going to go over here to the Effects Adjustment button. Click on that. And for the motion effect, which I'll toggle open, I'm going to open up the keyframe controller. There we go. So this is where I can create my animation. And my animation is going to end in this position. So I'm gonna leave that as it is, right where the playhead is. I'm gonna click on the little toggle animation button, the little stopwatch here at the top of the panel. There we go. These are my final key points for my animation. I'll just slide the playhead back just a little bit and then we can drag that arrow right off. And I could do that either by manually dragging on the arrow, that may be the easiest way to do it, or we can just position it here to maybe zero, zero. Where does that put us? Uh, we'll go just a little further. I'm just gonna drag over. This is called scrubbing, drag over the numbers so that that arrow's position is right where we want it to be. It's gonna be about, let's say negative 150 out there. And you can play with these numbers, of course, to get the exact position you want. And we'll change this position to about negative 50. My arrow is still on there. I'm gonna drag it off manually. There we go. You notice any updates we made, as long as the playhead stays where it is, those updates are going to update on the keyframe point that we have. That should be it for our entire animation. Let's go ahead and close everything up. We'll play our movie, we should see the go-kart come by, freeze frame, the arrow point to the boy. Okay, so here comes the go-kart, freeze frame. Here's my arrow pointing at the boy. And there it goes. Perfect, exactly the effect we're looking for. Now, if you wanna know more about this great program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you wanna know everything 
about Premiere Elements, be sure to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.